With its shallow tidal streams and small inland waterways, Rhode Island never had much need for covered bridges. Records show builders put up just five of them during the 19th century. Nonetheless, Little Rhode has the distinction of being home to the first covered interstate railroad bridge in the United States. It was the India Point Bridge, built across the Seekonk River for the Boston and Providence Railroad. Foster's Bridge was tiny in comparison, the smallest covered bridge in the nation, but it drew big interest. Unfortunately, tourists were not the only ones eyeing the wooden span. Less than six months after its dedication, three young vandals torched the Swamp Meadow Bridge. Teenagers had a party and they collected a dollar apiece from the kids to buy the gas to burn the covered bridge. Years of planning and nearly 4,000 hours of volunteer labor exploded into flames with the flick of a lighter on a trail of gasoline. I can remember Charles Borders. The, he was the, like the chairman of the building committee to, that built the bridge. All I could see was the flames were still there and it was smoldering. I walked down the bank and then Charles was sitting on the bank and he had his hand over his face and he was crying like a baby. But the whole day was tears. When I found out I'd burned it, you know, it was like losing someone. Police quickly caught up with the young arsonists. They were remorseful. One gave money, another offered his time to help rebuild. But folks in Foster were furious. They were not so sure they wanted to forgive or start over. They wanted us to do the bridge again, and of course, I'd about had it with bridges. It was really kind of unbelievable. I didn't, I didn't think that, uh... so I thought, that's that. Well, that was interesting. Bridge is gone. That was, uh, I guess the Public Works Department can demolish what's left and build a conventional bridge there. But thousands of people who came to see the smoking wreckage or learned of the arson from news reports had a different idea. Donations of money, materials, and time poured in from around the country. Volunteers invigorated by that generosity raised their hammers again. Just a year after the fire, a worker drove the last wooden peg into a new covered crossing. Today, Swamp Meadow Bridge remains standing, proud and sturdy over Hemlock Brook. The people loved that bridge. They put a lot of hard work into it, and it was something that they did without federal funds. And when it burned, they, uh, they, they just couldn't get over it. The fact that uh, someone would do that to, to that to that bridge, that town monument. They wanted a new bridge built in right away and no matter what, and, and that, that's what happened. That's what they did. The whole thing was, was uh, an exercise in, in faith and humanity from start to finish.